Using science to modify the genetic makeup of plants is quite a polarising issue. Our recent story on the benefits of crops, which are genetically modified to be more chemical resistant, certainly sparked a passionate response amongst our viewers. Well, this week we have with us Julie Newman from the Network of Concerned Farmers. Now, Julie, isn't having a GM crop that's going to grow or thrive in challenging conditions a good thing when it comes to looking at our expanding population? Yes, it would be, Sue, uh, but that's done by non-GM traits. It's not done by GM traits. The GM has two um, traits. One is it's uh, resistant to chemical like our non-GM varieties, except uh, it absorbs the chemical instead of repelling it. Um, the second is it's BT, which um, it produces insecticide in every cell, so you can't wash it out for consumers. It's not about any benefit for consumers or farmers. It's about um, a unique patent by doing it significantly different. So the patent owner owns the crop, tells the farmer how to grow it and who to sell it to. So it doesn't the crop doesn't belong to us anymore to make those choices. Will that eventually affect what I want to plant in my own garden? Well, see, this is what's so ridiculous. With a the plant, they only add one gene into, say, the 30,000 genes of a non-GM variety, and it gives them a patent because it's significantly different rather than the normal plant breeder rights. With the plant breeder rights, we own the crop and we get the right to replant our own seed. With a patent, you don't. The patent owner owns the crop. They tell you how to farm it, what products to use on it, and who to sell it to. So it is, their stated aim is to own a patent over 100% of the seeds grown so that they control the global food supply. Well, for a consumer and a farmer and a grower, that's got very significant problems there because we want the choice to grow and eat what we want. Is there legislation in play at the moment? There's starting to be major steps like our wheat industry, um, all the plant breeders are forming alliances with the GM industry and the government is supporting that. So it's all about the corporate control of the food supply. The government shouldn't be forcing it on, such, on a reluctant population. Well, I don't know about you, but I've certainly discovered that there are many layers to the GM debate. Now, the best way to form an opinion and make informed choices is to do your research, because this is one complex issue that is not going away.